What's up, YouTube? This is POC Ryu Taiki here to bring you another Naruto review. So, this chapter was pretty decent, in my opinion. So, it starts off pretty much where it left off at of last chapter. We see Madara still trying to take control um, over Obito. And, um,. So we see Hashirama and Second Kage and pretty much everybody else. They're trying to stop them from obviously taking control of them becoming human. And the first Okage, for the first time ever actually, we actually see the first Okage, for lack of a better word, more vulnerable. Because um, with the barrier holding up that he has, he, can, he tries to make shadow clones, but he can only make like two or three. And we see the second Okage game where he's pretty much under the same situation. He only makes like two or three. So the Shadow Clones are trying to take take out Madara and Obito for whatever. And I was the end of making the time. But out of nowhere, we see the fourth appear. And he pretty much cuts Obito in half. <laughs> and then we get like we get like flashbacks. We see young Obito and Kakashi and Ren and uh, the fourth. And then we see, um, we get like one little clip of when he fought with the fourth, um, I guess during the Nine Tail attack. And like, cause he, the way, the way he kind of like cut him in half, he used the Thunder, Flying Thunder God Jutsu. So it kind of like, was wondering how he did it. And in a flashback, we see that he, all those years ago, he marked him. Like, like 20 plus years ago and he explains to Obito that like the one like one thing that he never told him is that the mark lasts forever so in essence he could mark you now and pretty much kill you like 20 years later if you wanted to because the mark lasts forever so that's pretty much the majority of the chapter um, but at the end we get like one little surprise come in because we see Obito um, well, if we retract a little bit, uh, the fourth pretty much has like his heart to heart with Obito, and he says that you know he w he wanted him to become Hokage, but um, at the end Obito is like, oh, uh, do you think like something something to the fact like do you think I'm dead or whatever, and we see that he actually pretty much like the black half of Obito fused with the Jubi. So, um, pretty much at the end of the chapter, it's revealed that the true plan, the plan that we thought was the plan, really wasn't the plan. The true plan was for, I guess, Obito for the, to become the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. And that's pretty much how it ends. So, in my opinion, I think this chapter was um, decently paced. Um, the main thing, obviously, was Mara becoming human. Um, to me personally, it was kind of let down because I pretty much thought this chapter was going to be, at least like at the end of the chapter, we was going to see Mara like fully revived or something. But we didn't, he's still in Edo Tensei. But we see, um, like I said before, we see Obito actually is pretty much becoming a Jinchuriki, which kind of leaves me more or less confused for a few reasons. One, I thought the plan was for Madara to actually become human and become a Jinchuriki. Jinchuriki, that was pretty much the whole reason for him becoming human. But if Obito is going to be a Jinchuriki, it's kind of like, has everything that we've ever read just been one lie after the other? And one, if I was in Madara's shoes, unless I for real had like an ace up my sleeve, which, I mean, he could, we don't really know. But unless I had an ace up my sleeve, I would not trust Obito to even remotely have control over the Ten Tails if I myself don't have control of the Ten Tails. It's like if you go in business with someone, if you got a partner, you want to at least be 50-50. Whereas right now, Mara is here, but he's so dead, technically. And Obito is possibly about to gain full control of the Jubilee. Um... Which, like I said, kind of like, I, the only way I can see this being successful is if Obito actually does, uh, not Obito, but if Madara actually does have, like, an ace up his sleeve. Um, 
one way or another. And also with um, with the Juby possibly now being fully controlled or possibly controlled, possibly leads me to think like is it still going to transform and just the future in general because right now obviously the Juby is in a barrier by the first and second or the all the five days pretty much and like I don't know like obviously the Kage is I don't think they're going to be able to hold that bear for too long because um pretty much the bears they have to give like their 99 percent like the forest is in sage mode and he can only do two clones right now so he's he's maxed out for the most part and so is the second he's maxed out and Juby is still attacking with its clones and apparently his tongue because in one chapter he like pretty much tongue somebody for lack of a better phrase um so in essence the Juby is still a threat although binded and obviously if there's clones yeah they like the canal 11 and the lions are taking them out but obviously at some point the clones is going to be a little too much so I'm, I'm guessing that in the near future uh that that bind or the cell a barrier is going to have to be released and once it's released like i would imagine since it's in a barrier right now it's and it's possibly being taken control over by Obito one way or another that is probably not going to transform to its final form um, although technically it won't ever be final but I'm guessing right now it's not going to be in its final form at least until the barrier is down and if the barrier comes down although technically first and second won't be expend a chakra since they're dead and they kind of have like an unlimited supply per se um if it does transform into its final form there's pretty much little to no hope left i mean none of them can actually take the juby right now let alone when it's actually fully transformed um and about just the whole obito thing not actually dying right now it kind of just like it puts everything in an awkward position because like Mara although insanely pretty much almost on let's say just this past level I'm pretty sure he can't really compete with the Juby let alone if Obito is going to control it because to me um I got that Mara is pretty much just using Obito for his own plan and Obito is just so fucking retarded that he's just following Madara and so then obviously they're going to be at odds since they were already at odds before so now if Obito is actually going to take control of Juby by himself that's obviously going to be some conflict between him and Madara and still you got Naruto and Sasuke who even in this chapter still seem kind of at odds and even Beyond that, Sasuke literally cannot do anything right now. Like his, yeah, he has EMS, but unless he has the ace up his sleeve, he's pretty much useless because Naruto far ranks him, and Naruto ain't shit compared to the Juby. And he definitely can't take on Mara, who has freaking Renegon. So I don't know. Right now, I think the battlefield is kind of messy, for lack of a better word. Just like, cause Mara. Is, possibly might get screwed out because he has his own agenda always has his own agenda the strongest good guys are binded by using a barrier and just nothing's nothing looks good for pretty much anybody right now um i don't know and as far as i don't even know about Mara becoming human anymore because it's like like once again if Oto has control of the juvie how the hell is Mara going to become human in the first place? Because originally the plan, I guess, was for Mara to take over Obito's body. But that's possibly not going to happen. So, I don't know. I think the battlefield is, got, is going to get pretty messy. Um, possibly some more devs coming up. I'm not too sure. But anyway, that was pretty much this chapter. Um... To me, it's not too much to be said about this chapter. Um, to me, the main thing was the fourth 
oddly enough. And Obito actually being the Jinchuriki and not Mara. I guess a little plot twist in there. But anyway, that's pretty much this review. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, like, and all that. Um, also, don't forget to comment on whether you thought this chapter was good or bad or whatever. And a new thing that I'm trying out or see how it works is if you got the time, please feel free to comment or message me personally to let me know how you uh, like my videos, if you think they're good or bad, and list your reasons, especially if you don't particularly like my videos, please comment below and tell me why, so in the future I can improve these videos. So this is PFC Yutachi signing out.